All right, so today guys on Stoffer Garage, we are detailing a hoarder's Honda Civic, like literally hoarder's car. Look, I mean, all of this stuff was found inside of this Honda Civic at the time of trade-in. Like they literally dropped it off at the dealership to get money for this thing to buy a new car. It, it blows my mind that this is something that happens on a daily basis and is actually where majority of my cars come from as trade-in vehicles. Now all the tips and techniques that I use in this video are applicable for you guys when you clean your own vehicles as well. So make sure you stick around to the very end to see the before and after shots, learn a few things with Stoffer Garage, and let's go ahead and get started. Now, one of my favorite things is detailing SUVs because when you remove the seats, you have so much more room for activities. Um, but when it comes to coupes like this and smaller vehicles or sedans, it gets rather tight in there when you're trying to do the camera shots and also do the full details without getting in the way of all the camera angles. But um, that's why removing the seats is completely necessary to give me that added room. Plus you get a little bit, be a little bit more thorough and get underneath those seats completely when it comes from an extraction. Now, when it comes to vacuuming, I would say I am on the overkill end of the spectrum. Um, I've talked to several other detailers on YouTube, but also just people that do mobile and have their own detail in shops, and they say they spend like 10, 15 minutes vacuuming. Um, for me personally, it's probably closer to 30 to 45 minutes when it comes to vacuuming all the carpets, all the cup holders, pretty much everything I can think of when it comes to vacuuming, just because if you can get more of it up now, it saves more time in the end. That's at least my philosophy and something I've discovered. Let me know in the comments below if you guys agree with that or if you're a detailer, what your thoughts are. But I'd rather remove as much as I can when it comes to vacuuming instead of when it comes to, you know, loading up my microfiber towels on a door panel instead of sucking up all the dirt in the cup holders or just vacuuming the carpet so my extractor doesn't have as much work to do. But that's my philosophy. I'd rather spend more time in the front end vacuuming than in the, at the end, tail end of the detail.
Now Honda does a lovely, really cool thing that when they put their seat belts together onto the seats, they make it a little bit tricky to remove because it takes a special key pin lock to remove the seat belt from the seat belt buckle. Um, so that's why the seat belt is still attached there. And you can honestly see the lovely paint on the fender there and how bad it is. This is the entire top of the car has that much clear coat removed. Um, but for these seats, we're using my Flex Ice and Flex uh, Rinse. Uh, for cleaning the seats and then my fox clean drill brushes to agitate all of the oil and grease that is on these seats to lift it to the surface and let that extractor suck up all those amazing juices that you guys will see very shortly in the extractor pour which was really really satisfying not i mean not really it's kind of disgusting but it's a really cool shot you know what i mean Now when it comes to extracting and getting like tidy areas like this, like the headrest where the head of the extractor sometimes doesn't seal properly, one thing I'll do is with rubber gloves on um, is kind of use my, fing my index finger to seal off like half the ports so that way I can use half the extractor head on some of those smaller angles and some of those smaller bits. Um, it's kind of a tricky technique. Um, there's really not a lot of different extractor heads. I know that Mighty sells like a tiny like uh, pointy nozzle, which is for like between seats. Um, but when it comes to getting smaller pieces of fabric or different angled areas, you kind of have to seal it off manually. Um, that's just one tip that I've, I've figured out. Now the biggest tip from an extraction standpoint is do the first pass of a seat without any injection of any of your extraction rinse. The main reason because is all of that dirt and grime has been lifted to the surface with a drill brush in your pre-rinse, so you suck up all of that stuff, which is the majority of the gunk and grime into your extractor instead of injecting it with more liquid, causing it to rinse down farther into the seat. So that is the biggest tip that I can recommend and that's why you're seeing so much juiciness in these extractor shots right now in the first pass because it's pulling up all of the filthiest stuff first before you do the subsequent passes to then deep clean and get any remaining fluid out.
Now, out of all of the parts of the extraction process, this driver's seat is definitely not going to disappoint. And you guys will not believe how dark and dirty this liquid was that came out of this extractor when I pour it. Now another tip for you guys that are doing this at home is uh, essentially perseverance. It's more of a motivational type quote and to type of a uh, tip here, but when it comes to doing a full detailing job, you know, depending on how much time you have, break it up into sections, kind of do little pieces here and there, or if you do have the full time to do it, just stick with it and know that once you're done with the whole entire thing, it's totally worth it. Um, it's just, you gotta motivate yourself to just continue and work through it and just get the whole thing done. I mean, pretty much every single detail that I do, you know, it's just, I like to put my head down. I hate to stop in between and kind of get distracted because then I forget where I was or you just get less motivated because then your brain's going on to someone else. Or So that for me, it's just focus, stay with it, don't stop because if I do stop, it's always hard to get restarted again when you know that there's kind of a grind to it because of how much work's involved with one of these things. Now for these door panels, especially this door sill here where it's a more of an armrest, you can see how much grease and dirt is saturated in there. I'm gonna be using Mint Shine All Purpose Cleaner, which you guys can pick up at foxclean.com, and I highly recommend if you have not tried it yet, go pick it up, read the reviews, because everybody that does have some always buys more. I promise you, you guys will not be disappointed. The stuff smells amazing, the cleaning power is insane. As you can see here, without even any extraction, just drill brushing it with the All Purpose Cleaner, and a clean microfiber towel, we cleaned that door panel up completely. So, foxclean.com after the video, go pick yours up today. Now I've done some dirty steering wheels before, but this one takes the cake and instead of cleaning it, the uh, owner of this vehicle just put a leather wrap over top of it, um, which is, you know, I, I guess a way to fix the problem temporarily, but um, I had to literally bust out the drill brush to try to make a dent on this thing. And for those harder to reach spots, use my detailing brushes to finish the job. But yeah, this, this was probably the dirtiest steering wheel I have ever detailed on this channel.
think the one thing that I get asked a lot is why don't I use a steam cleaner or a tornador and you know when it comes to all these extra tools and different things they're nice and they're more for a aesthetic standpoint um, for me personally there's not a whole lot of tools that you personally need to do a detail on your own vehicle you know a drill brush and all-purpose cleaner detailing brushes and microfiber towels you can kind of tackle the whole job steam cleaners are nice when you have like slime or gum or things like that that you need to kind of melt that are embedded and really hard to get to um, compressed air I would feel is more important than a steam cleaner and they're just more for satisfying content for you guys I think that they have a place for them but overall majority of details you do not need those pieces of equipment to get the job done so keep in mind when you watch detailing videos on YouTube that if you have just a drill brush all-purpose cleaner detailing brushes microfiber towels you can get the job done you can pretty much tackle everything Now, the one thing I need you guys to do is this video you see on screen, you need to click on it right now. Head on over, watch this next video. I promise you, you're gonna learn a ton more about detailing or just enjoy the content. So click on it now and I'll meet you guys over there in five seconds.